right, it's once again Organic Friday, and today we are talking about a class of organic compounds called ketones. Now, these are related in some ways to aldehydes. They look very similar, but there's an important difference, so that's what I want to point out. All right. We're talking about ketones. They've got a carbonyl group. Remember, a carbonyl is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen. We call this a carbonyl group. All right. But in ketones, the carbonyl group is in the middle of the carbon chain. A number of years ago, a student said, oh, I know how I can remember a ketone versus an aldehyde. Think about the keystone in an arch. The keystone in an arch is in the center of the arch. Right. So in a ketone, the carbonyl group is in the middle of the chain. It can't be on the end of the chain. If it's on the end of the chain, we call it an aldehyde. You'd be careful about that. All right. So here's a general structural formula. Some R group, the carbonyl group, some other R group, All right. which may or may not be the same on both sides. Right. These can get quite involved. All right. So here's a space-filling model of a ketone. of a simple ketone. Right. You have to have a minimum of three carbons for it to be a ketone. So, um, I wanted to point out that ketones can be synthesized from a secondary alcohol. So an alcohol where the, the OH group is inside the chain, not on the end. All right. um, some reading that I was doing said ketones are what give, give cooked butter its flavor and odor and they give apples their flavor and odor. Right. There's also a ketone involved in the, the scent of jasmine. Yeah. So I just showed you some pretty neat ketone structures here for you to look at. What I want you to be able to do is recognize simple ketones and be able to name simple ketones. Right. So to name ketones, you count carbons. Total number of carbons in the chain and um, take the parent alkane name. So, you know, three carbons would be propane, and four carbons would be butane, and so on. All right? We're going to drop the E and add the suffix own. Right. Own. <laughs> it's not one, it's own here. Um, and if you need to, you can give a number including the location of the carbonyl group. So if there's more than one choice, depending on what direction you count it in, you give the lower number, as we always do when we're naming organic compounds. It's always about the lower number. So we are going to go on and do a couple of examples. Are we ready? So ketones will end in the, the suffix own. So let's work this out. All right, let's start with this structure right here. How many carbons are in my chain? Four. What's the prefix for four? But, right? It'd be butane if it were a hydrocarbon. Butane. Butane. So this is butanone. Now I don't actually need to say two because no matter what side I count from, it should always, it, it really can only be on the second carbon. All right? So I don't really need to say two butanone. Butanone is sufficient. Because if I count one, two, three, four, right, it's going to be the second carbon. And if I'm coming in the other way, then uh, it's really still the second carbon, even if the molecule were drawn in the other direction. All right, let's look at this molecule. What's the name of this structure? Say that again. Propanone. Propanone. Three carbons would be propane. This is propanone. All right, let's look at this structure. How many carbons? Five. Right. So this is pentanone, but I do need a number here. <coughs> Three. Three pentanone. All right. Because I could draw a two pentanone, which would be different. Should we draw two pentanone just to be thorough? All right. So if we wanted to draw two pentanone, it would be here. It would be two pentanone. What's this structure? 
How many carbons? Six. Six. So it would be? Hexanone. All right, do we need a number? All right. Now, I, I always number so I get the lowest prefix. So it would be one, two, three. Three hexanones. But you'll notice there's also something right here. What's this? How many carbons are there? So there's a methyl group on carbon number two. So the full name of this is 2-methyl, 3-hexanone. Everyone okay? So I thought we should add a little bit more into our structures here. But that's it for naming ketones. Can you guys recognize them? Name simple ketones. That's all I want you to be able to do.